Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rebay clip on my YouTube channel. So as my track Vibration had been released last Friday, I decided to make this video about this uh, track particularly and I'm gonna walk you through the project of this track and I'm gonna speak about how did I structure the whole track. As I've been saying many times in the previous videos that once we sit in front of the computer with a desire to make music, basically we are touching many different roles, many different professions. The first idea is that we want to produce the track, then we need to learn a software, then we are touching the fields of writing, like we need to understand the music theory a bit, what are the notes, scales, chord progressions, whatsoever. So how can we use all these notes and what are the combination in order that we write something that's going to sound good enough. After that, we're going to touch the field of sound design, then mixing, mastering, arranging so there's going to be tons of the things that we are gonna touch in order for us that we can complete one track from the beginning till the end now at the beginning we will use many different sound designs like uh, in forms of sample packs presets whatsoever once we start developing our career and we become better and better in this we will gain this desire that we want to do some things by ourselves so once we touch those fields we get focused on many of those fields and most likely we get lost in a certain in a certain roles that we are not good enough so for example i see that many people are getting lost into the mixing because this is the hardest task from all of other tasks and most of the people and all the concentration goes into the mixing or just the quality of the sound because all of us we want to have these super nice and super good sounding tracks like fat kicking basses like we want our music to sound expensive and to be massive as it could be but what's happening that once we start focusing on all of this segments of writing or making the music we are losing our main goal and this is to produce a track so the producer is going to be in charge for starting a track the producer will have the idea how this track should sound it's going to do everything in order to this track to be finished to get released to get promoted and many other things that are followed when we are dealing with releasing our music so being a producer is going to be a central figure of all of other things which i mentioned previously so that means the producer will be in charge for having a good sound design producer will be in charge for also having a good written track producer will be in charge for having a great sounding track like mixing mastering whatsoever how he's gonna achieve it it really doesn't matter because the end result is going to be good and the end listeners will not care that much did that person as a producer did everything by himself or he had any help on that way because the end product is good enough and this is where everything or all the questions are ending so in this video i'm going to speak about producer perspective only so how did i imagine this track how did they develop it why i made the certain decisions how when i ended up to some problems with some ideas how did i achieve them and in general i'm going to speak about structuring this track and basically producing it if i would need to choose a term how i would describe my music i would say that i'm writing atmospheric sidetrance music because i really love the atmospheres and everything something that i can hear in chill out as well so on the intros and breaks you can hear a lot of elements of chill out music in my tracks and also later on i like to have this sidetrance of course parts but i will always try to put them to be atmospheric or in some moments maybe a bit uplifting but they will be always followed with a bunch of the atmospheres all right so the idea of the intro was to start with something beautiful because my idea of intro and the break is that once we start designing our or producing a track that we need to have these moments where the kick and bass will stop because these are the moments that's going to create the contrast in our music and if we don't have this energetic drop we won't have that peak moment as well because if we keep on certain level any listener will get adapt on this energetic level of the track and in some moment it will just become uh boring in a way so i believe that for my type of the tracks on my music that creating the contrast like going down and up is actually what's giving the space for getting to the peak of the track once again and reaching that high energy level my concept is that when energy is down i need to replace it with something because the energy is down there are no kick and bass that are gonna drive and uh, keep track going i need to provide something for our listeners that they can attach to so my 
philosophy about this is that I always like to have something emotional. It can be a deep or dark emotion. It really doesn't matter. It's the matter of choice, the matter of uh, the situation that I'm in in that moment. But generally, I always want to have something that's going to provide a certain emotion and something that's going to be interesting to listen to. So I like to start my tracks lately without any sounds like hit point at the beginning because I don't want to spoil that moment of, of being in a low energy because I really want to bring it slowly and that way to rise up to the moment when kick and bass are going to start. So I'm not going to have any hit like straight in the beginning because that's going to bring the energy already up and I don't want to have this much of the changes in the beginning. So I like to start my track slowly to have something beautiful and something that's going to be interesting for our listeners and then to leave the space for the first kick and bass because I really like to make the point or this energetic jump to say in a moment when kick and bass are starting. So I'm going to play right now. So starting with a chord progression and this chord progression I'm going to use uh, during in the in the break as well and also I'm going to make the main melody later on. Followed up with some atmospheres. And now it's going to be the first. So, as you were able to hear, so there's nothing in the beginning, it slowly starts to rise up and after 16 bars I have this one single shot, actually several of them, but they're happening in the same moment, so it's kind of one of them. So they have this energetic rise up a little bit and after that kick and bass are starting to come into the filter. And then also like the whole top end, like the snare, the, the hi-hats are starting also to slowly start to open because bringing the high frequencies slowly will actually uh, provide the, the boost of the energy. So I'm rising up there, followed up with some snare rolls and uh, sweeps. And then I have this small break uh, long of four beats and it stops there. We I have also this uh, moment of again like just single shots that are just like hitting like and beneath them i have again some risers that are just gonna like bam 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 replace them bam, bam, bam. then i have the fill and then the kick and bass are starting once the kick and bass starts i really do not want to have many of the single shot sounds or the atmospheres because now from the atmospheres for this beautiful chord progression and everything now i'm moving the track into the groove zone so i'm gonna try to leave kick and bass to do their job without interference so i'm gonna put the kick and bass just to have their own work so down so i'm gonna leave as much as i can and in the moment when i feel that it might start to get to get not interesting enough i'm gonna start adding single shot sounds back again so i'm i will try to play this part without uh, interrupting so after 16 bars I'm adding the close hi-hat so this is a one minute again so I have like one minute and 15 seconds of the intro one minute of kick and bass going in a drive uh, the first part is dry and then it slowly starts to bring again so it's like I'm starting again a track but now I started with kick and bass so I'm adding more and more of them and slowly start to bring these additional groove elements additional groove elements are different from the single shot sounds because single shot sounds are going to be units that are going to be fired they're gonna ha they have a beginning and they have the end so most likely i use delay and reverb because i really like it but it does not need to be something like this single shot sounds can be any sound that's going to be fired and it's going to be placed in a certain parts where you believe it's going to fit the best while additional groove elements are kind of similar 
but they're going to be repeated. So they will have a kind of loop section. So this sound starts to repeat itself after uh, four bars, like it will go something like this. Okay, so in some moments, and they are mostly designed to be rhythmically. So there's a one minute of kick and bass going in this section. I'm going to play everything, just want to explain so I don't need to interfere more. Uh, and then I'm going to start to add them and they're going to increase the groove. So there's a kick and bass. They are having the rolling bass line. And I really like rolling bass lines. And the idea of this track was that I have the rolling bass line from the beginning till the end without changes. So I'm adding certain like different uh, single shot sounds just to increase the groove and you will hear that they're gonna just add like the kick and bass are going and then dun, 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 dun. like a creating an extra rhythmical section with the tonal elements in order to increase the groove and you will see that as the track goes further on i'm adding more and more of them so let's say this is the intro <laughs> So as you were able to hear, and I'm not gonna play all of it from the beginning, so just for the length of this video, but in general, if I now mute, or actually solo, only those ones in this part where all of them are playing, so basically slowly, they are coming one by one and they are creating like additional groove to the kick and bass, like. With kick and bass. So the whole idea is that I continue with the kick and bass rolling and going and going, adding slowly the drums, like the hi-hats, this and that. I still have the game with the single shot sounds, but every time I bring more of the elements, like the a bit faster hi-hats, one loop, open hat, I'm kind of removing all the single shots in that part and kind of bringing it back to the dry part of just drums going and then again building slowly from the beginning so i have like this one even this one that i have it's pretty polite it's not the 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 strong uh, single shot sound so it's just something to mark this like first part of the when when they start but as you can see this part is pretty dry and then slowly bringing once again from the beginning and again adding more and more of them of course after this minute of kick and bass are going there are snare coming in which is 
pushing to the next energetic level and then 30 seconds more and then i have like all the drums like open hi-hat the well, a little bit more of the hi-hats just to bring even more to the higher energy level and in that moment i'm bringing the main melody which is storyteller and for this kind of melodies or these elements i divide them in and tension builders and storytellers so melody like this one it's gonna come slowly so the sequences is this one they have they're they're saying some story or passing the emotion uh it, this is my way how i see that so they have certain yeah story while i have also this type of the sequences that i call the tension builders or boosters so they're gonna have they're gonna be constructed on that way they're gonna be just rhythmically like riffs they're gonna be with a stronger sound like something distorted or fm and they purpose is to even increase energy more so to create a more tension more uh, energy to boost so they are the, the the sequences that are helping me to rise the energy up as you were able to hear so far like i believe that the, the whole game is just about this energy like how did you put the track in a different energetic levels and how do you structure that how do you connect all this together and if you are careful enough like not using uh, or let's say in intro if you don't put too much energy because that means that once you have the kick and bass starting it's not going to be that much difference from from the intro so i believe that pulling down in certain moments like energy and then replacing with something like vocals um, melody pads something that's light energetically but it has something to say it can be singing it can be whatever you have in mind it can be some or, or organic uh, instruments like violins flutes whatsoever so it's all the matter of choice for but uh the the main idea is that energy level and if we see the track which is done over here this is the moment when drums are going this is only the kick and bass and here this is the part where everything goes down so this part of a track is with the lowest energy level and i believe it's really important because from this level i can start rising up and again i have i can have this contrast and once the kick and bass starts in this part of the track over here it's going to be surprise level again so people are gonna get excited once again once i reach to this part of the track if i have a lot of drums here if i have like a lot of bass notes like boo, going in the low end then the difference in between of this part and this part it's not going to be that much so i'm gonna spoil a bit of the surprise moment so even if i have like the pads or the drones or the bass notes in the this part i'm gonna low cut them that way so the frequencies are a little bit thinner in comparing with the kick and bass because the kick and bass moment when kick and bass starts i want this to be like main part like everything be, be before that i want to be careful like how much of the low frequencies high frequencies i'm gonna use in that part because the next high the highest energetic moment is when the open hat is going and when, when we push all the high hats and everything so when we have the full spectrum this is when the highest energy is going to be so in the breaks i'm not going to use that much of the like uh sounds that are high in uh, that are allowed in a high frequencies because i really want to save this for a bit later anyway so after this as i already said like there's a melody and melody is supported with this energy booster so i'm gonna just rewind a little bit just a melody and of course here everything goes on a filter because in this part of a track i could make the break already but i really want to have something different from general structure so to say that uh, the, the, the some type of a default is after this two minutes most likely there's going to be a break in some moments in this part it would be like a change of the groove like glide baseline with the kick but i got bored of this type of the arrangements anymore so i'm trying to have a moment of surprise so what i did i'm bringing everything like everything that i have inside of it and then start to use the filter because once i start cutting the low frequencies going up 
it's going to create another tension. And then I'm bringing back to the kick and bass with some new sequence. So let's hear that part of a track. <laughs> So I had this moment, I of course after uh, just had like a cut of the kick in the ba of the bass line over here which was replaced with this like reverse bass line So just to have a bit different groove, not to have rolling one because I already had like 2 minutes of rolling bass line Of course this is still rolling bass line but it's just a little bit chopped just to create a little bit more dramaticness or a bit different uh, groove from the previous section I have completely new sequence which is uh, a bit of the psychedelic sequence like just which is also cut in the same way in the same position where the bass line stops and again I'm bringing back the main melody once again after uh, 16 bars with the booster as well with together with this psychedelic sequence and then I have this break clubs Which is pretty important as they are starting slowly like just just beneath starting slowly to come on the filter So in the moments when I want to create a break like everything stops I really like to have something which I call the bridge is the sound that's gonna start just before the break starts and then it's gonna continue into the break so I have these clouds that are coming up slowly so they are rising until the moment of the the break when the break start, starts and then they start slowly to, to go down so their purpose or the purpose of these elements are just to connect the part before and the the, the break section so I have this going like So this is the only sound that actually goes before and on the break and then on the break as you can hear I go start to go go down slowly but again I will need to be really careful how long you stay down and soon as you feel that it might start getting boring we need to replace or we need to add something that's going to be interesting of course the idea of the break for me is to keep at least for one minute the energy down but I need to provide something in order for this track to not become monotone, monotone on boring or boring so what I did I have these pads that were going from the beginning and then I have these voices if I hear anything I feel like I hear a low pitched hum I feel like I'm more aware of my heart. I can feel each pulse and I can almost feel it radiating out my chest towards my head. Like a wave. And the really small sounds seem amplified. It's like my brain has been calibrated. So the quiet things seem much louder.
So as you were able to hear, like, okay, break one minute of uh, actually 30 seconds, then I'm bringing like uh, the pads, or, like opening with the cattle. Of course, the pads are there, but they have the trans gate on it just to create more dynamicness and that way to create a bit more of the movement and dynamic. Uh, then the vocal sample comes in, vocal sample have a story. So after that, I start slowly to bring kick and bass and also the top end, like the snare and other hi-hats, like slowly on filter and rising to this moment and as well like this booster that used to go before that just now it's a different uh, midi and i have one more layer of the same midi just a different sound like Of course, now I'm adding the flanger on it and with uh, modulating the manually, which I already have plenty of videos about that. So just trying to create a movement that kind of pitching, but it's not pitching. And then from this MIDI, like there's this uh, glide section, like this section and also actually just two notes and this one over here, like. So I have another layer which is also just that, so. Just to increase this part and that way to create something a bit more interesting. So there's this going, kick and bass are starting and then once it rises to the maximum point, usually there goes like crazy leads or whatsoever. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something differently right now. So I brought the chord progression, which I made on the intro, like on the pads, just with the bit chords, like. So I did the same. I just extended all these chords and then I turned on the ARP. So I created from these chords, I created the ARP. just to touch that field up there and to create this beautiful feeling and this is the my peak of the track like it's uh, i wanted to do it in this track like to go more on emotion not that much on the energy and like riffs because i believe there's so many so much music of the same style like fm riffs like there's going in the peak of the track it's uh more how to say like dry super energy without that much emotion so i wanted to have like this beautiful thing i stopped all the boosters all these things i just used them to bring it to that level once it reaches that level i completely focused on the emotion and on something that's beautiful i supported that with something like just to give this uh, feeling of psychedelicness a little bit more and that's it and then I have another sequence which is most likely similar but in general that is it so this was the track which just got released last Friday and I really wanted to speak about the whole philosophy behind it I know there's going to be many of you who are bored of listening to what I have to say but for all of you who were uh, watching this video until the end, I really know that you know what is the, the, the main catch and that this type of the videos I did not see on the YouTube. So basically the idea, how to connect all these different things, what is the main catch, what is the main idea and uh, I believe that there's so much music that's uh, made randomly, which means that somebody's just gonna sit in front of the computer and just to tease what's gonna happen and then create something from to say nothing my approach is always different i always try to have an idea like how do i want to produce a certain track or if i heard that track i want to analyze it to see what is the catch of that track and how i can create something similar what how can i reach uh, that level of energy how i can create that emotion and whatsoever so anyway thank you very much for watching and see you soon with another video bye